I think for graduate students more generally, um, some of the challenges that they're facing um, is related to the multiple roles that they're that they're carrying, right? So they are students, but in a lot of cases, they might be TAs, they might be uh, profess, you know, teaching classes themselves, uh, they might be trainees, um, you know, in, in my area, uh, seeing clients, and so doing a lot of caretaking, um, and then thinking about, you know, who's taking care of them or who's reminding them to take care of themselves, um, and do they have good models? in the, the faculty and staff that they are, you know, interacting with that's giving them the signals that you should be taking care of yourself? Or are we somehow sending the signal that that's something that means that you're not, uh, you're not cut out for this field? You know, if you're, if you're struggling right now, it's because you're not, you don't care enough or you're not working hard enough. So I think there's a lot of things, you know, Dr. Philip uh, said so much that I think also applies to students. You know, what are all of these, um, you know, barriers that are, that are, um, uh, exist that are really making uh, it more challenging for LGBTQ students of color uh, during these times, um, especially, but recognizing that this, these are things that have also existed for them, um, you know, long before uh, COVID and will persist beyond COVID as well. So as we start to get back to normal, you know, what is normal? Was normal that great to begin with? And what can we do to make it better for, for those folks?